Build the God Squad you've always wanted. InstantMuckCoins.com. Instant delivery, cheapest prices, 24-7 support, use code CC, 15% off. EA tax 10% is covered. Hey, what is going on, Madden family? Welcome to another episode of the Best Team in Madden. Of course, you guys are always going to say, oh, sorry, just logging back on. All right, just sold stuff. Uh, whenever we talk Best Team in Madden, you guys always want to see... The upgrades the team, why we made these changes, why we didn't pick up players, etc. Uh, and I, I do think it is. It's it's the best team. It's the best team. Uh, we are not a 99. To be a 99, we need a 99 overall punter and a 99 overall kicker. So, uh, uh, that doesn't exist yet. Can't get that. Why can't you get that? Because uh, to get the punter and the kicker up and overall from boosts, need to boost awareness. There's nothing that boosts awareness. I, I, I tried. I took it in to <laughs> trust me. Uh, so here we go. Uh, last week we did pick up Willie Rofe. We kept him. No problems there. Same thing with Randall McDaniel. Now the one thing we could do, uh, we could sell McDaniel. And then we could put Quint Nelson in here. Uh, and then he would be a gold 99, which is kind of nice to have. You know what I mean? Definitely be kind of nice to have. Uh, we would have to buy some stuff for that. So let's go take a look at that. Let's see if let's see if we can make a decision because we can take Quint Nelson. We can turn him into twenty thousand picks, or we could sell Random McDaniel. Uh, where am I? Why am I going to newest? That is just silly. And then we could sell Random McDaniel and do uh, whatever it is we need to do with him or want to do with him. Because we still have Quentin Nelson's 96. We still have it. So part of the problem with upgrading Quentin Nelson is his cards are very expensive still. Um, they jumped back up in price. They weren't before. So having to get that and then his ghost card, uh, it's, it's just a lot. And it's not something I really want to take on. Uh, if the prices change, maybe we'll do that. We'll see. Uh, we also can... We'll, Steve Hutchinson is, is an easy one to, to boost up whenever he comes along as well. So we're probably just going to hold off there. But that's why we don't have Quentin Nelson. Uh, I know you guys saw me probably pull the 98 Nat. That's why. Uh, Dermonte Dawson, we did not upgrade or, or change to Bruce Matthews. Pretty much the same card. This Dermonte Dawson, aside from the run block power, is basically a perfect card. I'm okay with keeping him there. You know, I would love the gold 99, but we powered him up with training, I believe. Uh, Larry Allen, still, he's going to be the right guard the rest of the year. There's no reason not to. He's perfect. Uh, and we're still waiting on an upgraded right tackle. My Taylor Moton here is auctionable, so whether we get Lane Johnson or, say, Willie Anderson, we'll just, we'll just have to wait and see, but we will do an upgrade there. At tight end, we got Gronk, we got Dallas Clark, and we got Travis Kelsey. But we also have Tony now. Tony. Powered up. All the way. What to do? What to do? We can get Tony to the same speed. Um, they're essentially the same player at that point. Uh, Kelsey does have better agility, and he will have better acceleration. I really like the way Kelsey plays. I love that he's got the higher run block. I don't think I'm going to put Tony into my main team. He's just going to be a theme team guy. So don't be upset or wonder where Tony is. I like Kelsey just a little bit better, and it hurts me to say because Tony's Tony. Um, at receiver, Julio, Odell, Calvin, Waiting on Randy Moss, just like everybody else. Uh, and then we got this Jerry Rice. I don't know what I'm going to do with this Jerry Rice yet. I'm not a Jerry Rice fan. Captain Tokens, coins. Could be a thing. Franco Harris, still at fullback. Vic and Lamar Jackson. My lefty and my righty are perfect. Gurley, Walter, and Ricky. Ricky is nah, he's obviously not all the way upgraded. I'm not at level 90. Uh, but we still see here Ricky is pretty good for what I need. Uh, I don't have Sprinter on him. 
that is fine. I'm okay with it. At free safety, for now at least, we are sticking with Sean Taylor. He is better than Brian Dawkins, in my opinion. Uh, to back up, we've got KZ for Falcons chemistry. Still, he's really good. Of course, none of the pictures are showing up. I hate that. Uh, right outside linebacker. I really thought about getting that Telvin Smith. Um, but Clowney is fine. I like to use Clowney. Uh, additionally, we have Barr as well, all powered up. He was just not in the lineup, so there was no point to get Telvin, unfortunately. Middle linebacker, still Shazier, still Jalen, still Bobby. And we've got Brian Erlacher sitting here to have some uh, legend pasty chemistry, even though we don't actually need it right now. We see we're at 33-30, to 30, so it doesn't matter. But we're waiting for Deion Jones. He's coming, it's just this week. Left outside, Vaughn, Van Der Esch, no changes there. Safety, I was hoping we were going to get Ed Reed. We didn't get Ed Reed, so Ken O'Neill stays in place. Ed Reed plays backup. Uh, Ed Reed will play in uh, nickel over G whenever I hop into that. But Ken O'Neill, I mean, of course I'm a biased Falcons fan with him, but he does play really well. He doesn't. He's not the fastest guy, but his man coverage, his pursuit, his tackle, his hit power, everything about him plays really well. Uh, and he makes plays on the ball, so that is good. At corner, we're still rocking with Mel and Nitrate on the outside. Again, they're not 99 speed, but they're big, they hit, they get physical. That's what I want. That's why Dion is still playing in the slot um, for other times. And then we've still got this Rod Woodson waiting. Right end, no Bruce Smith. Miles Garrett still plays just fine. A D tackle, Greedy Jarrett will be getting upgraded and changed as soon as he gets his power up. I'm not sure when that is, if it's going to be on Sunday or next week. Who knows? But Greedy Jarrett is sitting here waiting to be powered up. Uh, this is limited edition, so we'll be able to get rid of the limited edition, go through all the power up cycle. Uh, no changes there. No Alan Page. Come on, where's Alan Page? Uh, Peppers McKinley. Not a lot of changes this week. The, despite the fact that we got all that draft content. There just wasn't a lot of changes. Hidden back here, we also have Khalil Mack and Jason Taylor. Still. Still. But we did finish the Madden coach for the series. I'm sure you guys saw that. Uh, so now we have Tier 2 Madden Physical. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, so the team is just the team's even juicier than it was before. It's a good team. Um... If I had to rock out with this team the rest of the year and make not a single upgrade, I'd be fine with it. Obviously, we will keep upgrading. We still have a lot of coins. Uh, we're setting ourselves up well. One thing to keep in mind for you guys, and this is the the best advice I can give to, to anyone currently, is keep stacking your coins. Right, Coin is king right now. We see all these cards coming out, and they're just not expensive. They're not. The new Ultimate Legends today came out, and they were just dirt cheap. Dirt cheap. So having coins is a really good thing right now. Even the 99s that have dropped with draft, those master sets, uh, you would think they're expensive. Look at look at Tony Gonzalez is 230. I overpaid for him. Under 300k. 230 thousand coins. Ray Nitschke, he's just too slow to make the team. There's Grady. He's going to be coming home. Grady's going to be coming home. But these 98s, like, the cards are just cheap. Bruce Matthews, 280K. Bam. Bruce Smith, under 400. Keyshawn, right there. Brady, right there. <sighs> Nothing is expensive, man. Nothing's expensive. Got to hold on to their hold on to your coins. If you can, hold on to your coins, man. Use alternate currencies or, or, or something. Even Mean Joe, he's he's fallen a hundred k in the past week. We've got to be smart with our coins. I am hoarding coins because I feel like at some point there's going to be some cards that come out that are just expensive, and we're going to be able to you know pounce on those and get those. Hopefully. 
But that is my plan. Again, with the draft coming up, uh, I'm holding on to a set amount of draft picks just in case. Uh, I want to be prepared and ready for whatever they do happen to drop. Who knows? I and mean, honestly, who knows what's coming? Hey, Trey Flowers. Um, we don't know if the cards are going to be good or they're going to be bad. How how OP they're going to be. Um, how bad or expensive or cheap. Uh, but I would rather just hold on to the picks. Picks don't have a lot of value in themselves anyway right now, so... You're not doing a disservice holding on to some of them. But if you wanted to get rid of them, I would make sure that you would buy them back before the draft just in case because if they happen to do a blitz, which they should do, you know, they'll go up. So that is it. I'm going to stop here. I'm not going to stop wasting any more picks. I'm out. Enjoy your weekend.